Okay, suppose you want to control uh, how you assign tools in your team and you want to have a different stock location for that. It's pretty straightforward, you can do that in Auto 10, 11 or 12. I'm using 12 right here, but it's just the same thing. But first thing, you have to make sure you're using automated stock. Here you will see automated. Then you have income, expense, and then input. That's where you receive materials. This is output account, valuation account, and stock journal. So uh, I already did an example here. If I go into internal transfers, you will see I had a move done from stock to team one. And this has generated the following situation. So I have a tool which is a gas torch and that has landed on this current assets uh, account which I called stock tools. So right now it's not on stock, it's on stock tools. Why? Because I assigned to this location, if you go to this location, this there's a stock valuation account incoming, a stock valuation account outgoing and if you see this is possible if you set as production or inventory loss but i would say production right because it's production team so it's a stock in production because if the team has it or if it is assigned to a project or if it is assigned even to a pro to a, pro to a person it has to be a production location or an inventory loss because if you choose any other of these options it will not show the fields so if you have this um, if you have this configured, so for example, let's do another one. I will go and open. I will open uh, the product. I will say replenish. Let's say now I want to buy five gas torch, and I confirm this. Now we can go to purchase, and you will see we have. A purchase order here, it's an RFQ, it's not completed yet, so I'm just confirming the order, now I will receive the products and I will validate, okay, now the products are in stock, so we can also create a bill of course, go here, create a bill, validate, so the bill is in also, I no, adjusted the payment, let's do it all, validate, so we, we collected the payment, now if you go and see what's happening, I'm going to inventory and uh, yeah, not internal, everything. So the purchase order two, five, and this should be in stock. So if you go to this location and you see current stock, there's uh, so six. Okay. If now we create a new internal transfer let's say we want to send from stock where we have five i'm going to see send this to team two i created team two save so team two it has stock tools as valuation and right now team two has if you refresh this oh something just move this from here counting uh, reporting oh shit yeah so you see in stock tools we have 300 each gas each gas torch has a cost of 300 and we bought five so five times 300 you have a thousand five hundred and let's see what happens when we validate this one edit we're going to send gas torch let's say one to team two and save and just to do check availability validate apply okay now let's refresh and you see we have a thousand two hundred and in stock tools now we have six hundred 
and what's happened we have moved it to team two in Team two you can check the current stock and now we have a guest touch that's all so this is a very simple way for you to control your stock and also see where's the value in your shared accounts that's all for now thank you for listening